their hands full, and they have for a couple of weeks now with that big fire. Yes, they sure have. And another wildfire nearby is the Lion's Head Fire. This is the Warm Springs Reservation, about 14 miles west of the Warm Springs community there. This is over 11,000 acres. This is a photo from yesterday. Notice all the wildfire smoke, and they're trying to help on out and the fire there. And notice the terrain. That's always an issue on top of only uh, dry conditions in the wind that terrain can always cause a problem too. This is a satellite and radar loop. Notice uh, no rain, but the clouds are definitely there with the satellite. I want to show you two things going on. We'll start off with the smoke plume from the wildfire, the lion's head wildfire there that has really uh, expand today, you could say. And notice that the smoke is blowing from the west to the east towards areas of Madras. And then we start off with all that morning cloud coverage that dissipated throughout the afternoon. Still maybe a few clouds to the north of us up in areas of Cowlitz County. Overall, though, the sunshine is out and we are really noticing that for this afternoon. This is a camera coming out of Mount Hood Meadows way up there, but it's still hazy. It's still smoky and this is kind of pointed in the direction of those wildfires. So with those local wildfires, this little batch right here that has allowed for things to kind of be a little smoky there in the distance. And it's going to remain a problem. It probably will be uh, on and off as we go through the remainder of the wildfire season until we get a good grasp on some of these things. Smoke forecast is going to show a little bit of smoke trying to come down from the north, but then it kind of thins out by the time we head into Sunday afternoon into the evening hours. Should be a nice day tomorrow. It's going to be warmer though. Today only mid 70s around Portland, but a little bit warmer down to the south. I think we had some mid 80s down towards Eugene. Tomorrow I have us in the upper 80s again, and that's going to start kind of a stretch of some heat. So with the wildfire smoke though, we still have the air quality uh, problems going on for these little counties here and to the north there. This section Jefferson, you have to shoot. This is until 4 a.m., so air quality because of the smoke there uh, may be an issue. We have 75 degrees coming out of Portland right now. Beautiful view of our Subaru Portland camera. We have 72 degrees by 7 p.m., and then we start uh, cooling down to the 60s. We'll probably bottom out right around the lower 60s to upper 50s tonight. So uh, get those houses cooled down because we're going to see that heat again the next couple of days. 89 tomorrow in the Valley, 89 for the Gorge, lower to mid-90s for Central and Eastern Oregon. If you're along the Oregon coast tomorrow, temperatures around 70 degrees should be a nice day to visit the coast. All right, so we have a massive temperature gradient from the west coast of uh, uh, the United States to the east, but here locally too by the time we get into Tuesday. So that's going to be cooler air to the east, warmer air west of the Cascades on Tuesday. So that's the temperature gradient, warm to cold. And with that, it's going to allow for the wind to start to increase as we go into Monday through Wednesday because of that contrast in temperatures. And so with that, it's going to be dry and breezy, and that may cause some issues uh, with wildfire conditions Monday through Wednesday. We'll talk about that here in just one second. Current wind speeds, about 10 miles per hour. Watch what happens as we go through Monday night into Tuesday. Really starts to increase, especially here in the Willamette Valley, and that is one reason why we have this fire weather watch in place until Wednesday, it starts Monday, so we still have a day before that occurs. All right, let me show you that seven day forecast real quick. We have 89 tomorrow, 92 for Labor Day, Wayne. Notice I have the wind icons there because it's going to be breezy, a little bit cooler on Tuesday, but back into the 90s by Thursday and Friday, heading into Friday, too. Yeah. Yeah, hot holiday and then even hotter after that. Yes. All right, Joseph. Well, next, Portland.